Welcome to Holder Science, where we do science for the good of all of us and to develop the Clash of Clans metagame. I'm Corinthius from Holder Clashers. Today we're going to be sharing the Zapquake. This theory was initially developed by Dave from Origins and further developed by all the Holder members and tested by Mike, Mitch, and Overturf. The basic concept of this spell combination, this strategy, is that if you can find two air defenses that are close enough to each other, you can actually eliminate both of them just three lightning spells and one earthquake spell. In our testing, the air defense kind of needed to be within about three spaces of each other for this to work. This obviously limits the number of bases that you have an effective strategy for, but if you can find a base where this works, the strategy is very powerful. The idea is to place the lightning spells directly between the two air defenses. That'll cause damage to both of them, leaving them both with just a sliver of health remaining then use the Earthquake spell to finish him off. We're going to take a look at this in action from war, our last war in Origins, where 24 Mitch P took on the enemy 19. Lightning spells will go down directly beneath the, between the two air defenses. That'll leave them both with just a sliver of health remaining. Then he's going to use a Lightning spell to finish them both off. At this point, before any dragons have deployed, air defenses are completely eliminated, leaving only one. He went ahead and elected to take a dragon in the CC, but this would be very effective with loons in the CC as well. At this point, even with an anti-dragon base specifically designed against this strategy, uh, the battle is basically already over. We also did the strategy on goblin bases for further experimentation, and in these experiments we were able to eliminate levels 5, 6, and 7 ADs with just 3 lightning spells and 1 earthquake spell. There's still some experimentation we think is needed though. Uh, we'd like to analyze the best zap locations, specifically the best locations for dropping those lightning spells, because they do cause damage to different places, and depending on the locations of the air defenses, we could do more damage by dropping them in slightly different locations between the two air defenses. We'd also like to look into which of the four spells is best used as the earthquake because the zap pattern does change based on how many spells have already been used. It might be optimal to use the earthquake as the second spell, thus using spells 1, 3, and 4 as the zap spell. We'd also like to look at implications of diagonal ADs, diagonally located ADs, and if that causes any change in the zap pattern effectiveness. And finally, we still think that there is some utility of this strategy in Town Hall 9 dragon attacks. Specifically in some bases meant to be anti laloon some of the air defenses are quite close to each other, and if you can eliminate two of those, leaving two ADs remaining, which are fairly exposed on the edges, there might be some merit to a Town Hall 9 level 4 dragon strategy with this spell combination. In Town Hall 9, you'd also have one remaining spell to use for the actual attack. Thank you so much for your time. We hope that this strategy will spawn some good discussion and good experimentation. Clash on!